Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. From stadium management side, um, I think you can take the last four press conferences and you can rewind and play. There's two messages. Um, illegal tickets and the right early. But I want to... I think the time has arrived that we... And I'm at the fear of sounding arrogant, but our spectators will need to come to the party and play their role as well. Um, I had a session with the Safja members two weeks ago where I showed them the drone footage and I showed them CCTV footage of the arrival at the venue. And you can ask those people that were in attendance, 40 minutes before kickoff, the roads are clear, there's no congestion, give it half an hour and we've got all the people on the road um, and that's where the problem starts. Now, um, we can have, we can deploy 200 more JMPD traffic officers. If we don't all partake and accept responsibility to arrive earlier, we're going to have the problem again. It's compounded on Saturday with Comic Con at Nashville. There's another event um, in the precinct. It started this morning. Um, so, if we don't all play our part, we're going to have issues on Saturday. And on Monday, I'm going to field calls why the problems with the traffic and JMPD is going to be crucified in the, in the press again. So, um, as far as the traffic is concerned, let's all play our part and, and try and arrive early. What we did is we created on NASREC seven additional entry points to the, the parking areas to get the vehicles off the road quicker and to park them deeper into the parking areas. Now, um, the next point there is uh, the illegal car guards. Um, again, the message, parking is free. You don't need to pay anyone to look after your vehicle. You don't need to pay anyone to get to a parking spot. What we did from stadium management side is we formalized the structure for the, for the car guards, and I'm not going to use the word illegal. Those, that's part of the structure. They get paid by stadium management to assist us in this process of managing the traffic. So that's our part that we play and that we're going to um, remunerate them for their services. But please, those car guards will be clearly marked in a blue SMSA bib. And um, if you've got the reflector jacket on and somebody tries to direct you to a parking area, don't follow that individual. There's enough parking space. If it's managed in terms of the plan, um, you will definitely um, be parked safe and it's not far from the, from the stadium. The next thing is, there's only, um, the, the tickets are sold at legitimate outlets and you can go to the Ticket Pro website to see where it is. If you buy tickets at the venue from somebody out of hand or at the taxi ramp or at the, um, the bar near your home, that's going to be a fake ticket. As sure as I'm sitting here, and you're going to have problems at the, at the gate. Now this small percentage of people are creating issues for thousands of spectators and fans that want to experience um, this classic clash in a safe and secure environment. So um, please assist us with that. We're sitting at the moment, um, as we speak, at around 44,000 tickets already sold. To give you an indication, Jess, um, Last season, the fixture sold in totality, in total, 23,000 people. Um, so we double um, that number already. Um, I think I can stop there and deal with some questions later on, but I think Pilani will deal with the closures. And but firstly, I also want to say that we have not neglected having entertainment, and really creating the Animal Pussy Spirit, Conquista performing, for a lot of activities. Thank you to Toyota for the Toyota Zone, making sure supporters can come and park their cars again for free. So we're just saying, can we all collaborate? You know, the whole ecosystem needs to work together. We all make the experience, and I think if our supporters can come on time and know that there are activities happening in the state, they'll also be comfortable. Indeed, and um, just to expand on the, the Toyota, uh, um, the family zone, that the stadium started um, with Chiefs about two seasons back. Um, the tickets sold in that area is already on 650, around 650. And it's not only for um, Kaiser Chiefs fans, um, it's for families that want to come and enjoy the fixtures. So um, Sundowns fans are more than welcome in, in that zone. 
You'll just need to wear a gratitude hat, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we do have what Polani in the Let us know what they entail and plan in terms of security measures throughout the game. Uh, thank you so much. We will take the opportunity to meet uh, everyone here. Uh, it is great to be a good game. The magnitude of the two teams uh, is much anticipated. And with that in mind, you can imagine the numbers of spectators who will be coming to the stadium present. With our traffic management plan, it's not too different from uh, the usual ones that we have for big games at the FNB Stadium, and usually the Derby. Uh, but with uh, what Bertie mentioned, that uh, with the numbers, that we are expecting, then we'll need to put uh, much extra effort in ensuring that there is free-flowing traffic, and especially before the game, because what we have seen, as Bertie, Bertie did mention, is that 40 minutes before the game, the roads are clear, but just before the game starts, then you see uh, volumes of traffic increasing. So the biggest appeal, it goes back to please arrive early, uh, but with our road closures, Soweto Highway will be closed off to traffic, that's uh, between uh, the N1 Bridge and Main Street and Boysens. Another closure will be on Boysens Reserve Road between the Crown Road Road and uh, uh, Nazareth Road, and also on Nazareth Road between Shaft 17 and Recreational Road. But uh, with Nazareth Road, it, it will be converted into three lanes. That's going into the stadium before the game and going out of the stadium after the game, and that will definitely ensure that there is much uh, flow, flowing traffic before and after the game, and especially after the game, that is unavoidable, unfortunately. And with uh, access, uh, with the VIP access, they can use Soweto Highway at the N1 Bridge, and then turn into Golden Highway into Stadium Avenue. And they can also use uh, Crownwood, uh, from Crownwood Road into Boyce's Reserve Road, and into uh, League Avenue as well. And I know that uh, my colleagues from the media always crucify me for this uh, routine, about why aren't they allowed to also use uh, those routes? If they do have proper accreditation from PSL and the parking tickets, then they'll definitely be able to use those routes as well. And then for everyone else coming into the stadium uh, to access the stadium coming from Soweto side, then you can use Rancho Road and turn the left into Golden Highway straight down into uh, Stadium Avenue. You can also, uh, coming from the north, especially fans uh, from uh, uh, Tswane, uh, Mami Lodi Sundowns fans, they can use the N1 uh, into the N17 and turn uh, into Nazareth Road and then they can park at uh, Shaft 17 and also at the Kidneys and another access route coming from the Johannesburg inner city using the M1 off ramp of Golden Highway and then uh, turn it into Nazareth Road straight down. There's the eastern overflow which is on the eastern side of uh, uh, the Nazareth Expo Center and uh, people can park there as well. But uh, one thing that uh, you need to note is that uh, since Bertie, Bertie did mention that there is another event happening at Nazareth Expo Center, some uh, parking uh, accesses will be limited and that is paid parking for the people going to the Comic Con and that's on the east wing of uh, uh, Nazareth Expo Center. So uh, we kindly request that people who usually park there, they can either use the Eastern Overflow or use uh, Rancho Road into Golden Highway and park there. And one of our uh, another biggest problem is illegal parking. When people are illegally parked, then it does impede on the traffic and it makes the traffic flow very difficult for people going into the stadium. So we are warning people, if you are going to park illegally, your vehicles will be towed and you'll have to pay a fee to get your vehicle back. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for that.